When I was thinking about this series, this was maybe six or seven, eight weeks ago even, but what we wanted to do, I was at a Starbucks, and I was listening to music, and I was just typing out any ideas or impressions that I felt like God was giving me, like, where should we go with this, what should we do, that idea. And so I I was drinking a lot of coffee, and I was like, just flying, right? Like, just getting going, listening to music, and I was just kind of in the zone. And then a song came on, and I felt, oh, this is really interesting, And then I thought of this idea. I thought, wouldn't it be amazing, even though we're not all wired this way, wouldn't it be amazing if we can demonstrate practically what waking up and coming alive in our spiritual life would look like? How could we model that for for each other? What would that look like to have a visual piece that is like about people coming alive and coming awake? And so I I had an idea, but I wasn't quite sure. Uh, Jen, where are you? Come on out, Jen. So I quickly emailed my friend Jen. And I thought, God will use Jen to either start this up again or shut it down. I felt like really good about, I wasn't sure if it was the caffeine coursing through my veins or what was going on. So I thought, I'll bounce this idea off Jen and see what she thinks. So I quickly emailed her. And to her credit, she quickly emailed me right back and was like, I think it's amazing. I think we should do this. I think we should talk about it. So like any idea, it's just a little idea. But then when people and friendships kind of get around it, it almost becomes a whole other thing. And we thought, what if this is what God wants us to do Now, I know we're not all wired to be visually stimulated, and emotionally, that's not how we're kind of, how we most naturally connect with God, but what I hope is that this expression that you're about to witness and be a part of is something that gets you to consider what does it look like for us to remain in Jesus, for Jesus to remain in us, and for us to become fully awake in this vibrant relationship. Okay? Check this out.
You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I've seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory because your love is better than life. My lips will glorify you. So Jesus, we just say our hearts are yours. Our desire is to be in this relationship, to remain in you as you remain in us, to have your Holy Spirit bring transformation and healing into those parts of our life that just need it. God, for brothers and sisters here who are feeling like they're in the middle of that parched, dry desert, the spiritual lives feel empty and there's a longing for more, would you just through your spirit bring life and hope into those areas? Jesus, teach us what it means to leave behind our past, those things of our sinful nature that keep trying to get a hold of us and instead walk in step with the spirit to be completely yours, completely in love with you and in step with you. Jesus, that's our prayer as individuals. It's also our prayer collectively that you continue to transform us as a church, that we bring love and hope into those areas that just need to hear about you, Jesus. Thanks for the way you inspire us. Thanks for the way you wire us in different ways and the ways we can learn together and learn from each other and laugh about the ways we're different as well. Jesus, we love you and want to keep you at the center of all of this. Amen. Thanks, guys, for hanging out.